Sure can. Yeah. No problem. My lovely Population One people, hello and welcome. Here for a another Tipsy Trixie takeover today. And yet another great interviewee in line for you. You know this person because uh, they have created a ton of sandbox maps that you guys are uh, familiar with, including this beauty that is currently part of the evolving map. And so today we are going to uh, go inside of this uh, lumber mill over here. Maybe pop right inside right here and find our way to our interviewee. I believe they're right up there. And here's the ramp. Nice little map you guys are familiar with. We're gonna learn a little bit more about this map and some others with our featured creator, more cowbell. Hello. <laughs> Step into my office. All right. Exactly. Awesome. Um, yeah, so your office. This is a, a nice little uh structure here that uh is part of our evolving map, but also has some additions. Taffy to underscore it. dragon underscore We've VR. got a couple of things that you guys Said. may have missed. Um, Cowbell that didn't get dragged over into nice the name evolving tag. map. So yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> That's right. So thank you for being one of my uh, interviewees for these lovely takeovers, and we've got lots of questions to ask you. Um, are you ready? Yes, and thank you for the interview because uh, I told you before this this whole thing. Um, I started watching your stream like maybe three weeks ago, two weeks. I don't know when it was, mm -hmm. but um, <clears throat> the first one I ever, someone told me that you were interviewing Samachi on my Minions Farmland map. And I was like, well, let me go check this out. And I love the internet or the uh, interview format because uh -huh. um, I listen to it like a podcast. Like I don't really watch streaming all that much, yeah. but yours, I can literally just put my phone down and listen to it and still work and do all that stuff. And it's like listening to a podcast. Yep. So um so I dig it. I just, I, I love listening to all those. Thank so, you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, you're in charge in this uh, MS adventure. Rivia. You get to uh, said uh, change over the map at Hi. any given time, at any, uh, at the best time frame. And uh, I just ask the question. So if I ask a question related to something that, uh, you know, triggers something in your brain about a certain map, bring me there and we'll chat about it. 
Um, Mm -hmm. We got uh, folks popping into Facebook and Twitch, so I want to acknowledge them as well when I can. Taffy and Miss Misery, thank you for joining. I've got uh, some lurkers as well, so thank you folks that are just (laughs) joining to listen and watch. I appreciate you for being here. Uh, Okay, we're just going to get started if you're prepared. Here we go. Uh, Ready as I'll ever be. Perfect. Where are you located? I'm in Tucson, Arizona, in the desert. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, which time frame are you guys on? Are you on uh, Pacific or Mountain? Ask Clown VR. Uh, We're even with... What's up, Cabo? I think I'm even with Pacific now. Because we don't do daylight savings time, right? Right. So I know we're three hours behind Eastern, two behind Central right now. Okay, then, yep, that's the same as Pacific yeah, I, I right now. Yeah, I get the whole thing mixed up. Yeah, so, we're funky. it's funny because I, I wish we didn't uh, partake in daylight savings, but uh, you do I not. Know, and nice. so when I we know. change over times, you actually stay in the same time all the time. So that's kind of nice. But uh, it's Yeah, I used confusing. to live in Wisconsin, and Ooh. we had daylight savings time there, obviously. And like... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we do. I remember turning back clocks and setting them ahead, you know, twice a year. And mm-hmm. uh, just that, I don't miss that. <laughs> I'm good with the way it is. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to um, switch over one thing on my stream real quick that I'm noticing is uh, kind of funky. I'm just going to swap my logo out because I grabbed one that has a background MS to it and it looks terrible. So we're just going to fix this real <laughs> Illinois quick. just ended theirs. All right. Oh, Illinois just ended their daylight savings too, huh? Really? Yeah. MS Misery. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Said. Yeah. That's, that's what awesome. Ms. Misery is telling us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. I wanted to get that logo out of the way because it was uh, kind of impeding our, our interview space because there's a lot to see in these. There we go. Um, and I didn't want that big black box kind of uh, OCD there. So. All right, so we're in uh, Arizona. What do you do for a living outside of Plain Population One? I'm a uh, mailman. I drive around in a little white truck delivering thank mail to, to all the boys and girls. Yeah, yeah. no, thank you for so. doing that job. I, um, I am happy yeah, every yeah, day thanks. because of the work you do, so I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it's a good job. Paper. I mean, we, um, I, uh, there's, so like, I don't, there's two different types of mail carriers. Like mm-hmm. there's the ones in the uniform, right? The OIC. Yeah. And then there's, um, then there's MS the rural Misery carriers, which are the ones that used to drive their own cars a lot. Said, now, yeah. Now we all have vehicles, oh, but we wear yeah. our own clothes. And, Love uh, the mail, so I'm man. one of those guys. So I just get to MS just Misery put on my clothes, head to work and get it. And then Said, yeah, just do my job and come home. It's he nice. makes me happy. Very good. And very nice. Okay. Well, uh, let's talk about pop. Um, how long have you been playing population one? I got this in like two weeks before Frontier opened. Okay. Um, yeah, and I like I bought this game in like a bundle on the store, uh, probably like a month before that. Mm-hmm. And the bundle was like it was an amazing bundle at the time. Like it was like five games for like I, don't know, I think like eighty bucks or something like that. Ooh. And it was like this game. It was like Arizona Sunshine. It was oh man. Um, Oh, there's like five real good games. I know which one you're talking about because I think I bought it too. Um, And the nice thing about Oculus's store is that if you already have one of those games, they take out that percentage that you'd be charged. (laughs) And you're only charged for the ones you don't have. So I know which one you're talking about. It was a lot of like shooter games or action games. Um, and I ended up mm-hmm. with a, a bunch of the same ones as well. So yeah, they do some great bundles. Um, if you guys check them out around like Black Friday and Memorial Day weekend, and th- like they do specials in their store. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should be. Yeah, that was a good one. That was mm-hmm. a real good one. And, I, and this was the last game of all of them that I played. Like I, I didn't because I was kind of like hesitant, thinking like ah, it's like a Fortnite thing. Like I, don't, I have no mm-hmm. interest in that. And I played all the other games, and then I got to this one. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, I, what? <laughs> what? Dang it, I should have played this first. Oh, man, because uh, now I never go back to any other games, you know? Yeah. But it's, yeah. It's I, have, I have way too many games in my library that I never open. Like, I think I play maybe three of them, maybe four. 
I don't know. It just yeah. some that I've never opened ever. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I got the Saint. What is it? The Saints and Sinners, or no, no. The um, ah, it's like a real uh, Resident Evil. It's a remake of Resident Evil. I got yep. that like I don't know Same. two months ago. I haven't opened it yet. Same. I haven't opened it. <laughs> oh, I'm lying. I actually opened it. I walked. Um, I walked through like some crunchy forest, and then I was like, I gotta go play pop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get that. Um, That's awesome. More cowbell. Where did you come up with that name? I'm curious. Uh, it's funny because in lobby I get that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's and most people figure it out. They have a good idea from Saturday Night Live with Christopher Walken mm -hmm. and that whole skit. And um, I don't even know how I thought of it to be honest. Because this, I think when I got the Oculus, I made this name. Because uh, I didn't like whatever other names I'd had in the past. I didn't really have names for online stuff, so nothing good. And yeah, it just it just stuck. And then the uh, the five two zero is kind of the opposite. Everyone kind of figures out the more cowbell part, but then they're like, oh, five two zero, man, is that like is that weed, dude? Like four twenty better than four twenty <laughs> or something? Or but I'm like, no, no, no it's uh, it's literally the area code in Tucson. <laughs> so um, I put it on there because I thought, oh, you know what? Cause it wouldn't let me have more cowbell by itself. So mm -hmm. I had to put numbers on it, right? And I'm like, all right, what well, would be some cool numbers? I'm like, well, I'll put. 520 on there and then if anybody kind of recognizes that and people have there's been a couple people that i've been you know that i've made friends with because of it mm -hmm. and uh like, oh you're in, are you in tucson like, yeah that's it man and yeah so it's <laughs> kind of cool well um us streamers get on and we play pop one and uh in hopes that on one of our platforms we'll gain a thousand followers so that we can get the green verified tag now, I noticed with mm. Taffy's interview this morning, and you have a special green tag, Featured Creator. Tell me what that's about. Oh, yeah, we are lucky boys, lucky boys. Um, yeah, essentially, we're the ones so far. I mean, they've only done three maps that have in this whole evolving map thing where they replaced Outpost. And the first one was a dev map, um, so no Featured Creator there. And then um, then they put Taffy's in, and then you know now they put mine in, and they give us this tag, and it's really cool. It, it is it is a an attention getter for sure. Also in lobbies, right? Yeah. I mean, it just it is a different color and just big, and yep. everyone's like, "Whoa, future what creator, that what's that about?" Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so, <laughs> all yeah, the yeah. all the virtual <laughs> trolls coming up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they already awesome. come up to me because I got the boobs and all that stuff. So uh -huh. now the. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. the, yeah now they now they really come at me which is it's fine it's fun though it's it's neat kind of kind of explaining cool. it so uh what level are you currently 63 i'm two, dragon underscore I'm, I've VR. got two more to go said um and i am yeah, midway tag, in that it's I a bullet guess. magnet I, i've spent I, I, I play a lot of pop one but once the builder came out that that probably knocked me down a <laughs> a level or so there i'm sure so hey no worries man i've been playing since the very beginning and i'm only a level 60 <laughs> <laughs> hey that's gold because, that's all right yeah that's because i don't play very much um and when i do i just suck and it's okay <laughs> <laughs> that's right Aww. that's right all mm -hmm. good it's fun i mean it's all about the people right i mean really the it, it is. is fun yeah. shooting and killing. I mean, really, it's like kind of like a dream, right? Like it's like when you're a kid, like you, you know, especially especially little boys, Flying, you, you, know, you want to run shooting. and shoot people and fly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like everything. adult everything recess. Come on. <laughs> yep, yep. And then you start getting friends that want to do it with you, and it's like, all right, this is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Even when you die, it doesn't matter. So. Uh, do you have a favorite pop one streamer? First of all, I've heard you ask this one, and everybody mm -hmm. says, Trixie, <laughs> you are, because I got, for the reasons I told you, I listen to you like a podcast, and I don't watch many streams. Um, I think the only other person that I would say I've really watched much of um, was someone you interviewed, um, uh, Zephyr. Yeah. I, lo I loved watching her Siri stuff. Like when she uh -huh. does the Siri thing, that just cracks me up. <laughs> so I have watched some of her stuff. And, Perfect. Um, but otherwise, it's real sparse. I'll, you know, I might pop on to somebody's stream for you know twenty minutes or something, maybe. Yeah. Pretty okay. rare. Uh, let's talk about how long you've been building, and were you a part of the uh, testing? I was in the beta. Uh, 
gosh, when was that? That was pretty early. Not super duper OG, but real early. Um, still back in the days when like you could do maps and you could lose the files, you could save over them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even have, like I lost my first map ever because oh. uh, you could accidentally save over it and it just, yeah, it's gone forever. Oh. I have two pictures of it. I have two, two screenshots, but uh, it, it would have to do it was good, but it was just cool to, to kind of look back on and see like the progression of everything from like, oh, oh sure. yeah, that's, I remember building that stuff. And um so yeah, yeah, I've been doing the the builder for a long time. Okay. Um, and have you done any other builder games? Like, can you compare Sandbox to anything else? <laughs> the only one I can think Dirty of, Dirty Monkey seventy eight, uh, Mario Maker, Said. Mar oh, Mario Maker yeah, two, Fashion <laughs> late yeah. again. Yeah, my, yeah, my kids got a Switch last Christmas, and uh -huh. we just got that game like two months ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let me see that thing. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so I made them like, I don't know, I made them like, you know, five, ten levels. And just having fun with it. I, I've made more levels than they have, you know. They, <laughs> but they yeah, love playing exactly. it. So <laughs> it's really, that's kind of, it's almost like here, right? Like you just want to it make is. it so people can have fun Very with it. And so, when you watch yeah. your kids really do it. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> they so. also have a uh, uh, Yoshi craft world that that, I mean, that's pretty fun uh, too. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Mm -hmm. Don't. That, <laughs> I've got enough. Uh -huh. I have enough problems. <laughs> um and yeah. how would you compare the two uh similar a little bit because you you kind of got to configure to the style of each game mm -hmm. so it's it's building your own world but you you have restrictions right like in here or certain gameplay mechanics that you have to adhere to um like in here you want it you want to be able to use climbing you want to be able to use building you want right. flying and all that sort of stuff and and there you're you know you're doing mario mechanics of you know the jumps and better do the running jump if you really have to or you mm -hmm. can't Where you know the i've looked at a few levels on there like that are online and stuff mm -hmm. and i'm sure they're made by kids and they're just craziness you know like thousand goombas just you know bumping into each <laughs> other or <laughs> just wild stuff and uh but you know to make it a cool level and you got to make it kind of have the mario theme but your own spin on it and mm -hmm. kind of what we do here right is we have top one map but we do our own spin on a lot of the stuff that's right um how would you describe like the uh if i were to start building today how frustrated would i become how quick and uh, uh and when does that stop <laughs> oh when does it stop um <laughs> if and i know others have recommended this like trying to get in with other builders that mm -hmm. will help your learning curve and help your frustration levels a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, we did the beta. We we had a small group and they were, we we're all helping each other learning. We were in our, our own app at the time, right? So there was no, you know, you weren't getting hit up to go play squads or anything like that because you didn't even show up online. You were in your own world. And if any other builders came on, like, oh, hey, you know, you're excited. Like, oh, finally someone else is here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I can talk about some stuff or whatever and learn something. And um, so that accelerated it a little bit because we had such a tight little knit community. Mm -hmm. um, now you can still get into the, you know, easily find people on Discord or Facebook and all that stuff um, or just in maps, you know, like you start seeing names you recognize and friend them. I mean, but it's a little bit of a learning curve, no doubt. Um, it's, it's. Uh, I know it takes a lot of patience. Like that, <laughs> that's really the biggest thing I think <laughs> as a builder. Does. Yeah. Yeah, the action is gone. Like you got to really be okay with like just nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> just, uh -huh. just you know, letting Solitude your letting your imagination do thoughts. everything for you. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when uh, you know, when you're playing, like you just like in squads, you know, you're like for me, like I'll play play a match and then in between matches i go sit down and like or on the couch right behind me right and i'm waiting mm -hmm. take a drink of water whatever and then all right get on the platform stand up here we go, go again. and then in the builder you just sit there like you're just on the couch a big lump sitting <laughs> on the couch and you forget to drink water you forget to eat you forget about what time it is you have no idea because at least in squads you know like oh i've played five games six games i've been about an hour mm -hmm. this thing you're just 
God, you look at the clock and you're like, oh God, what did I do? I did... <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and I'm a that. novice builder and the same thing happens to me. It, it, I just, I start building something and I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 11 PM and I have to work at 6 AM. This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, oops. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's to me, especially, yeah, especially if you got a battery pack on top of your head, you know, and a mm-hmm. strap or mm-hmm. and then you yeah. really have no limitations. You can just keep going. <laughs> just so keep going. Well, I want to acknowledge some folks that have joined us in our chat as we've been uh, talking. Um, George over on Facebook and whoever's lurking, thanks for popping in. Hello. Um, And then we've got uh, some of the names you'll recognize. Um, We've got Taffy, Miss Misery, Ass Clown, Dirty Monkey, um, and people are lurking in there as well. So um, we've got kind of a little party growing and right. my, what's up everybody yeah my next question is uh let's chat about uh art versus playability uh what is your inspiration for builds obviously uh the map we're in is a playable map do you make anything uh you know more on the artsy side or more just for visibility to hang out i am very big on the playability part um okay. i the art stuff is fun. Like I, I definitely, I, sometimes there's a, a place for it for me. Like I just, I enjoy the really just putting the world together and, mm-hmm. um, and trying to make it feel like you're there and make it play really well. Um, that's my, like my inspiration, I guess. Um, uh, early on with a lot of maps, it was all about how could I make spawning fun? Mm-hmm. Like that have maps like paratrooper where you, you know, all right, you die, you get to go skydiving and come back down, you know, or um, cannonball where you get to get shot out of a, you know, of a, out of a cannon yeah. of a pirate <laughs> ship. Um, so like, I, I really enjoyed making like, all right, how can I make that work and make it fun to die? Because, you know, in, in TDM, you can get frustrated kind of quick, especially if, if it's not going your way. But if, um, it's fun to die and come back and be like, all right, I'm going to take a fun way back into the action and <laughs> right back at it. That's kind of always my, my goal on a lot of maps. Not all of them, <laughs> but um, I do enjoy just making like a world around that sort of idea. And um, like, I don't even know how I came up with the sawmill. I really, I have like in, in Luck of the Irish with the leprechaun and the, the rainbow, um, there is like a little water mill sort of deal there, like a water wheel. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I, I'm guessing I just saw that and thought I want to make, you know, exaggeration of that. And I guess that's probably where I came from, but yeah. Well, so yeah, it's always yeah like that. Yeah. You have made some absolutely amazing builds, and whether or not you do more playability over the artwork, you've also done a lot that's been um, kind of you know artsy in terms of you know fun things to look at and creative ideas you also have a fun little uh niche in all of your maps do you want to talk about that <laughs> oh the uh the cowbell right mm-hmm. and it's up talking? on my yeah, uh, top yeah. left of my screen if you guys want to know what we're about to talk about oh. um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um tell me about that so that started pretty early beta two um there was a somebody, I don't know who it was in there. I don't even think they build anymore, really. But, um, God, who was that? I don't know. They, But they did, like, some kind of little uh, Easter eggs in their maps. Like, I don't know, remember what it was, but, like, we talked about it. All, you know, everybody was in there was like, oh, that's pretty cool, you know? And people were like, oh, you can do a cowbell? I'm like, no, I don't I don't want to do Easter eggs. Like, I don't, I'm cool. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> uh, Weller, me and Weller were building something. And... Uh, he goes, dude, just do it. Do a cowbell, man. And I'm like, I, uh, I don't, don't want to do it. And he goes, hold on a second. So he goes off into the, wherever he goes off into the map. And he, uh-huh. uh, he, like five minutes later, he's like, here, check this out. This, you could do something simple like this. And he pretty much made, you know, a basic cowbell. And uh, I was like, ah, oh, fine, fine. So, and then uh, <laughs> after doing one, it was like, all right, and, uh, no, I, this is awesome. And people people dig it, so it's cool. Very uh, but it's cool. fun making it and hiding it. And, and the hiding part, part is like kind of um, fun for me trying to figure out, like, do I make this too hard to find or too – like if I make it too easy, this mm-hmm. one's actually an easier map. But sometimes, like, because you don't want people to never find it. Right. But it is fun. Trying to well – I don't, I haven't found it on this map, but I also don't want to show people because it is on the evolving map. 
But you guys, somewhere in this map is uh, the cowbell. So when you guys are playing, uh, when the evolving map pops back on there, don't forget if uh, you have kind of, you, you load over here and nobody else hot drops and you're kind of lonely looting and stuff, if you've got some extra time, uh, don't forget to look for that cowbell uh, in any of your maps as well. So um, I think that that is a great unique thing that uh, sets you apart from some of the other builders. So uh, I appreciate the uniqueness of that. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad people like it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, why do you think people should explore Sandbox? Hmm. Well... I think um, VR is pretty unique with uh, really it's different than going to play Call of Duty or going to play <clears throat> Resident Evil, or whatever games you play, Madden or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, you really you get to be in it and it's pretty wild. Uh, I didn't have a I think I had a VR for just a month, a couple months max before this game. And uh, I always kind of resisted it, thinking like, ah, I don't think it's probably it's cool enough yet. And then after seeing, I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Like I, out of my kids, I have eight year old twin boys, and they went to a birthday party, and this uh, with their little friend. And the dad there at the house, he had a big, huge VR set up with the steering wheels, <laughs> and he had you know all sorts of crazy stuff, wires hanging from the ceiling, and yeah. all that stuff. And he's like, dude, you should try this. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, you know, and obviously just 30 seconds later, I'm like, this is awesome. Like, I, I, <laughs> I got to get one, one of these. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, so exploring <laughs> like the sandbox stuff is kind of just, it's more worlds, right? I mean, it's just more cool things. Like, you know, especially like some of the, the maps, the remake maps that people make from like, mm -hmm. you know, Call of Duty or from Gold, you know, 007, things like that. Um, like you get to experience things you saw 20 years ago and now you get to be there <laughs> like you can look around and like you can climb it you can you know shoot people in it you're just so yeah. like it's a unique experience um, it is but yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> why not yeah <laughs> <laughs> well we're at the point of the interview where i like to ask you to teach me how to build something teach me something in sandbox can you do that all right, I can. Yes, I was trying okay. to think of something cool, so I figured we'll uh we'll go do a make a minion because I think okay. that's okay. That could be. I, I was gonna do a cowbell, but I thought ah, oh, we'll do a minion. Minions are more fun. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So this is a pretty basic minion. He might be missing something. I tried to make this right before you got here. I was like, I want to see if I can pull one together real quick. And um, so. It's pretty. We can try to make like a a, a new one, like a little, give him a little a little minion friend, and you'll kind of see how. Because everyone asks, like, oh wow, how did you make a minion? And um, it's not as hard as you think. Like it's there is some stuff there. You just got to kind of you start looking at everything in shapes, you know. Mm -hmm. Like when I thought of doing a minion map, because uh, my kids love minions, and I was like, dude, that's just a that's just a half sphere and just. You know, a uh, <laughs> some some misshaped spheres and a um, cylinders, right, for his yeah. legs, a cylinder yeah. for his body, and like that's not that. I think I could make one of those. So, um, yeah, I mean, it really, you can do a, a pretty crude one in just like five minutes, really, if you kind of do it. Um, so yeah, so like we'll make his body, or I'll get to this side. Okay. So you can make his, or I'll tell you what. Um, how could we? I don't know. We'll just make one. I was gonna say, uh, here. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna break out the pieces, and I'll hand them to you, oh, and Lord. you can try to make the minion. Mm -hmm. How about that? Here, let okay. me let me uh, <laughs> let me delete this guy real quick. And then we'll, we'll stick with the the shape it gives us, so we don't have to adjust the sizes of everything. All right. So you got your cylinder. Now I'll give you that guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'll color it for you while you're moving stuff. Oh, okay, and we're on Snap, so I should, I'm really terrible at this. So, oh God, oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then I'll give you another cylinder. Mm -hmm. See if you can guess where that guy goes. That's his bottom. Okay. Um. Oh Got no, I'm gonna have to rotate too. Okay. Yeah, that's something right for for um, newer builders is going back and forth from Snap, right? Like I know mm -hmm. it's it um. It can save you so much time just when like getting used to that whole like boom, just snap it. Like this one I need to 
not snap and have its own little rotation. No, I'm just extra bad at this. <laughs> oh, no, it's like, he's all right. Okay. He's a tall minion. There's short minions. There's okay, tall minions. Yep. He's a really skinny right? mean one. Think, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's the tall one, right? And then you got yeah, yeah, Bob, we'll go I think, is the short one. <laughs> Kevin's a short one. Or no, Kevin's, yeah, Kevin's a tall one. And then, yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's give you then. So then we'll give you this guy. And we'll shrink her, shrink her down there. And we'll make it a little bigger. There we go. All oh, right. for his his waistband, maybe? I'm guessing. You got to give him a good old... Good old I oh that's his headband. Yeah. Oh that's his headband. Okay. Yep. Okay. But uh and before you know it, you know, it's a little small still. Uh mm. Mm. so right now, yeah, like we're we're only at three pieces. There you go. That's the money. <laughs> I'll make this guy I'll make his bottom blue. Okay. Then we'll do <laughs> little goggles, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta give them goggles. Bing. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, come on. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Uh. And then we'll just think. Hey, what are we at? Three shapes so far? Oh, they don't go right next to each other. Okay, okay. I suppose we could have made a one-eyed one. I think, huh. isn't uh, Bob one-eyed? Oh, I didn't think that'd about be that. good. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, here, let's do a one-eye. Yeah, that'll be... Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, so we'll make it a little bigger, because they have a... Make it a little bigger, and then he'll... Uh... Oops. All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh, that is just way too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then for legs. I've never built. So it's like a, if you want to make something <laughs> that you know is going to be longer, like stretch it out first, uh -huh. then shrink it, and then Ooh, it's easier just to. That's good advice right there. And like, so these minions are Dirty big, right? Monkey, like way bigger than the ones you see, like. On, Said, on a map or in real life. Or turn your life, snap off, <laughs> But Whatever, in animation. Oh, They're little okay. guys. Um, something I think uh, Love Trooper uh, taught me when I was first I in the builder snap? is I don't even build remember. things. Oh, there you go. Oh, um, isn't it yeah, Love Trooper taught me like to... Uh, are you stuck? Okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> sorry. Yep, very good. Yeah. <laughs> He um he told me build things like if you want to do something that's gonna end up small like minions or the cowbell or any sort of little details right like yeah. you know we're gonna make an office chair or anything like that mm -hmm. um build it big because then you can manipulate things and get lines to match up better and stuff like that and then when you're all done group it and then shrink it down and then okay. you can make it whatever size you want because okay. trying to make it when it's super tiny like you just you can't move things good enough for that you know mm -hmm. um. And let's see. All right, we gotta get you. A, oh, we'll get you some feet, huh? Little nuggets oh. of feet. Look at that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then. We almost I'd like got to ourselves say, look, guys, I'm building, soon. but let's uh, admit that this isn't me. This is just Cowbell kind of coaching me along. <laughs> so I would give this guy, Oops. yep, make that little arm there. Oh, this is going to have to have some rotation to it. Ew. It might be my, a little long, huh? My nemesis. What is it? Oh, the angle, yeah. The, <laughs> the free. Oh, there you go. Uh, Look at that. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and then, let's see. So now, like this guy, he's got a um, 
like kind of like his little pants or whatever overalls, yeah. overalls. Mm-hmm. like they have, mm-hmm. little, they have the little part the kind of the square part that comes up right mm-hmm. um to do that because if you put a square on there to look because this is on a cylinder it's gonna it's not not gonna line up right mm-hmm. so what i would do is i'd take his cylinder whoops make it go up ah hey see even builders all right so then i take his, his current cylinder and keep it on the exact same line right i wouldn't make okay. a new one i just i'd keep it right there make it a little bigger Mm-hmm. Shrink, shrink the one side, shrink the other side. Let's color this before I lose them in the. Oh, the I see. So shrink both sides, and then yes. you can pull them up. Okay. Right there. And then he's got a little. And it'll, the curvature. This one is still sticking out, but the curve will still go with the rest of him. You know, it mm-hmm. won't be um, just a weird block on his on the front of his body. Mm-hmm. Uh, now here we gotta give you. We gotta His little eye filler, or no, his little circle on his, on his overalls. And then you could probably take that guy's eye, duplicate it up, and probably in fill in hole. his goggle. I bet. Oh lord. Yes. <laughs> Shrink that guy. And then do one more of those. You pull Look, it out guys, a I'm bit. building a minion. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Then you just take the same circle, shrink it. And yep, and you got yourself an eyeball. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. And then let's see, we'll do. One, the hands were a little more difficult, but not yeah, too crazy. Yeah, I was watching kinda... as I popped into this room that you were doing like some oily things. Yeah, and that's just taking um, cylinders and just making them, you know, make them longer, turn mm-hmm. them into fingers. And so, to how much do uh, in clones. your building budget? How much do your minions cost? Mm, I think they're about a one percent. Or something like that. They're not that okay. bad. The, That's not bad for as the many more, shapes um, as you use. And... Yeah, the bigger ones, like the ones with like the pop one themed ones, mm-hmm. like um, like the Rainbow Anna or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's more expensive because you got to give her a bunch of little colors on her, you know, um, because her striped jacket. Yeah. Now and, do... uh, but yeah, otherwise though, it's not um, they're they're not too bad. I mean, I can't have like a hundred minions. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't have any other room for maps. <laughs> Well, but, question uh, yeah, for like the, you the, on the, the colors. You mentioned uh, all the little colors. So is it because you're using one color per shape that you're adding in there, or do the colors cost? No. So, like, yeah, um, her ja- like PJ's jacket or Rainbow Anna's jacket, you know, mm-hmm. it's a kind of a fluffy kind of um, – it's got the puffs, right? Like, it just – it's it, – so you have to do, like, to make puffs, I had to take a sphere – I found out stack spheres. Oh, that ain't it. And we could probably make these a little smaller. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, so you stack the sphere, the smushed spheres, little pancakes. Yeah, and then and you then, have to, okay for the puffy jacket. Yeah. Wow. Yep, and that's how you give her Okay. A little jacket. And then okay. you just do that up and down the whole so you know, you, the spheres, right? As everyone's kinda of mentioned before, all the builders, mm-hmm. they're the most <laughs> expensive thing in the game. So, you know, it takes a lot of spheres to smush down to do a full jacket and uh arms. Yeah. So those little guys are a little more expensive. But I see that now. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then yeah, let's give him a little smile real quick, huh? We'll give him a. That's just a little half Taurus. I'm Shrunk learning down. a whole bunch of things, you guys. I hope those that are watching are kind of getting some inspiration and some knowledge of, um, you know, how impossible I thought these things were. I was just like, oh my gosh, how do you even find the time or the patience for for these guys? And uh, 
<laughs> the smile is a little crooked, but I don't care. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at it. You got I yourself a man. Yeah. yeah. Then the hand, you just yeah, you just copy the hand. Whoops. Bring it over there. And bada bing, bada boom. Look, guys, I made a minion. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see yeah so it's, it's you know everyone sees them and thinks oh god how did you do that yeah it's not that bad i mean it's just you I know a bunch of cylinders i love that you showed this series. for your your builder piece thank you <laughs> yeah. very yeah. cool so. um so um do you want to show me a couple of your maps yeah we can go around okay um let's see what would be a cool one to start with mm -hmm. <clears throat> um now, I don't know if you guys you know have what? watched uh, many of my interviews, but I've actually featured a couple of Cowbells maps uh, for the streamer interviews, and uh, they're just so easy to like. You go in there and you're just like, oh, this one's perfect already. I'll just use this one. Um, but uh, you make some pretty elaborate and um, perfected maps that I think you should be acknowledged for. You do a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's fun. I mean, it's really just. It's... Good thing to kill a lot of time. There we go. All right. I'm just going to. So this big old map. Taffy underscore dragon underscore VR. Said. Ooh, this is so big. And someone could... had the audacity yeah, you could to probably poke fun place, at my Santa LMAO. It's like an actual mm -hmm. battle royale. Taffy so underscore big. dragon uh, underscore VR. Yeah, take a hop VR. down there. And, um, okay. and you'll see Said. some of the. Uh... Looking good. 9.1 or 10. You're gonna fly Cowbell for a while. Is a great yep. teacher. Way up here. Yeah, this is like a full map. Fun. Ooh, no. town. Okay. What? <laughs> oh wait, I'm getting. Oh my god. <laughs> it's miniature. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I love no hearing people I was, coming yeah. down on this. So fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I literally thought I was going to be falling for a while, and I'm like, no, I'm getting closer <laughs> to the ground. What is happening here? So where do you hide the loot in this map? Because obviously it's not going to be inside the, the house. Uh, this one doesn't really... I don't think I put loot on this map, actually. Okay. Um, is it more this like is, this one's called Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just TDM. Okay. And... Uh, <laughs> This yeah, and I turned cool. down like the damage, so like you know you get hit by bullets, and he doesn't hurt you as much. So it takes uh -huh. a lot more to kill someone, but you know you, then you feel like you're Godzilla. You know you're walking around, and, mm -hmm. and bullets don't hurt you as bad. It takes you know, so yeah. Uh, this was like a contest map um, of the one where we did uh, prefab stuff only. So mm -hmm. like there's nothing like this is the opposite of a minion where you know you're taking shapes and doing all this stuff. This is all just shape. These are buildings that Pop One gave you. Um, you know, like these, these are just the townhomes <laughs> stacked up onto each other and stuff like that. This is um, pretty darn cool. I like it. Yeah, it's a neat it. feel. It's cool watching people walk around on it because, like, mm -hmm. you're just like, oh, it looks, it really disorients you. Like, that's kind of one of my deals, too, is like, I like to disorient people. Um, uh huh. A little like obviously inception does that confusion yeah um, exactly yeah. your inception map i was uh, like yep this is pretty much just like the movie <laughs> yeah 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 that, that was uh that was that was a fun one to make um i'd like to go back to it eventually actually because it's that that was in the beta so there was less textures back then and stuff mm -hmm. and i could probably kind of update it a little bit it's like a little but, micro machine map in here, you guys. They're very cool. Totally. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, yeah, what else? How long does it take you to make these maps? Well, this this one was pretty quick because um, the contest was do a prefab map and try to keep it simple so you know other people so other young builders could kind of see that it doesn't take 20 30 hours 40 hours to make some of these maps right uh, this one was like five hours um just taking shapes that are already made mm -hmm. and um yeah so i i mean some maps take take obviously a lot longer but this was its own deal now do um, we have a shape that is a street or did you build this street yeah there's a street yep there's a okay there's a uh, street one that you can just shrink her down and 
Yeah, okay. see with the light post. I mean, that's, it's, just, it's so mm-hmm. neat just, yeah, walking around. It's massive. Very uh, cool. Let's see. Uh, and then yeah. uh, as far as, you know, we talked a little bit about art and playability uh, and why people should explore Sandbox, but uh, do you have any specific maps that, um, like, people come up to you in the lobby and they're like, hey, you're the one that made this. You you did this. Do you have like fans that know who you are because of these? In- Inception is the <laughs> the one I always get. The main one. Okay. Uh, yeah. They're like, oh, Kyle, Kyle Bell? Dude, did you make Inception? Oh my God. Yeah. Um, and it, <laughs> it is neat hearing it because again, like I like to make people kind of throw them off kilter a little bit with some of those maps and okay. just so i know it i know it works when when people remember it they're like dude that map like it makes me sick but i still go play it like uh-huh. I just love yeah. it. so it's like and I, I feel bad for people that can't play it because the, the vr <laughs> sickness but well uh, uh what yeah, is so your... no, that's cool it is very cool what's your favorite one that you've made can you bring me to that one? Oh, that i've made yeah um jeez i don't know <laughs> picking one of my one of my children which one's my favorite um, picking one of your children <laughs> gosh uh they're all so special to me uh <laughs> oh gosh uh, wow. oh boy i thought I'll, the uh I'll take which builder to... is your favorite question would stump you but this one is <laughs> this one takes oh i got i got it. you know what i prepared for that one i got an answer <laughs> That one's uh, tough. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Yes, I like this one. I've done an interview here too. Mm-hmm. I, I think I Oh, did, did you Lester. you did an interview in here? Mm-hmm. I believe I did That's Lester's funny. interview in here. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one was a is a battle royale map. You know, mm-hmm. that their failed attempt at a battle royale that the you know big box put out. I feel ah, uh, that's uh, that's another story. But uh, <laughs> I picked this as my favorite just because it was a lot of fun to make. Uh huh. Um, just trying to think of like space themed sort of buildings to to do and and kind of emulate some of the stuff that Pop One does in their main map. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, you know, kind of they have sections, right? They have they have parts where you're like oh yeah that's outpost or that's you know frontier so you can call it out so i was trying to think like okay how can i make kind of call outs if this is going to be squad's map yeah like all right there's the you know like the, i've had people call these like the ham the hamburglar buildings <laughs> or oh things my like gosh. that you know? you know what okay <laughs> off topic cowbell yeah, i have bad dreams i have actual nightmares of being stuck <laughs> in the hamburglar toy set from like the 1980s <laughs> playgrounds. Yes. Oh, oh great. Now I'm never going to be able to unsee that. I can't <laughs> ever come back to your map. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll never, yeah, yeah Forever, no, that's exactly what these are built like. They used to make these um, a kid size so you could crawl inside here and like wave out at your parents and be like, hi. And like, if you looked at them as an adult, there's no way you could fit in there. And so now I have these nightmares where I'm stuck in the Hamburglar <laughs> playground. <laughs> so funny. That's funny. So that dumb. Is, yeah, that playground was great, though. God, oh, that yeah. playground was great. You remember the big purple yeah. thing? I don't even know what its name was. The big purple thing that you stood in and uh, it shook back and forth. <laughs> gosh, what was his name? Uh-huh, yeah, somebody in chat's going to know what that is. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we're aging ourselves. Yeah, he was great. And the, you had the spinning thing, right? Where you, you were all like on the yes. like a donut. You had the thing in the middle and you'd all uh-huh. be cranking on it, trying to go as fast as you could. And it never like, went God, fast. Was... You just thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, if we looked at it now. Yeah, so true. Yeah. Um, oh, those are great, great times. Yep. Have you made any like bloopers, any major fails in your maps where you're like, I'm never going to publish this. I'm done. I'm, I quit this map. Anything that you want to share that's like a fail, a cowbell fail. Uh, oh, there's fails. Yeah, uh-huh, there's, uh-huh. there's fails. Um, I'm going to take you. This one isn't totally a fail. Uh, oh, you, you know what? Okay. I'll take you to a fail and then I'll take you to also another one that is. Um, okay. Just would never get published. Because, yeah, I mean, everyone thinks, like, oh, these builders, like, ah, like, they 
<laughs> we messed up. We just, we just. Is this the Titanic? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I never finished it. I couldn't okay. do it. Okay. There's, there's Jack and uh, what's her name? Mm -hmm. Um, they uh, it just it got overwhelming for me a little like, bit oh, trying Jack, to make this thing. You actually made them. <laughs> I don't, yeah, this is yeah, this is old too. Uh, poor little, very basic. <laughs> Her hair, her hair is so terrible. Look at it, like the spikes. Like, oh Said, god! Like, I got a is, fever. Uh, it was wet and cold, though. And know. the <laughs> only prescription uh, is more cowbell. Yeah, but yeah, it just it got too big. Like I, I couldn't figure out how to fill the, the dang Titanic. And Timothy yeah. Panda. This is also that would be a we had lot basic. of stuff to build Said. inside. Proof oh, there's god, enough yeah. room Lots for both. Of rooms. I mean, like I got the one ballroom kind of started i oh, guess but i never okay, okay. um okay i just had that that's pretty much where it ended and You're like i'm dead mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when you walk around in here like take a walk feel, feel it. <laughs> yeah you feel it's, it uh, it's funky it um, is funky this is kind but of... you feel it that's cool <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah this this was kind of the beginning of um inception for me it was okay. that when i made this i was like i like this sort of stuff making uh -huh. people kind of feel weird and so you know this didn't never made it but yep. sometimes when you're building like you'll get part way through something, something or else yeah mm -hmm. just all those I get that. Juices, you're like you know what i'll remember this for later and do something else with it well uh, you can show me the next one i've got to tell you uh what's yeah. up timmy um timmy the panda uh mac cheesy wanted me to let you know that uh he has a fever <laughs> kind of and the only fever. prescription the is only more prescription. cowbell. <laughs> I, it's, it sounds great. I gotta tell you. <laughs> wow, so, this is a uh, beautiful map. Uh, mm. I just wonder why I scrapped it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. No. Uh, so this one, this also can be a good builder tip. Um, mm -hmm. Weller, I don't know if Weller is Weller watching. Who uh, recognize this? I haven't seen him in yet. Haven't seen him in yet. Uh, well, that's all right. You can see this later. So we gotta go to the yep. sky. We gotta take mm -hmm. to the sky. Okay. Um, oh, oh. And this is a builder tip of uh, when you start building. If you have, unless you know for sure you want the mountains or you uh -huh. want the snow setting or something like that, build up in the air because you can. It gives you the ability to like, all right, I want to make an underground to my map, to my map, or I want to make a basement or something. Like, uh -huh. you can't do that if you're down there. So all, I think all builders almost now build in the map or up in the sky because it mm -hmm. just it gives you more, you know, space. Um, yeah, Mia Weller made this. They're, uh, this they're like this little was the first week or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just oh talking about. Oh my god, about, it's about the hammer too. guys. Yes. You know, yep. I know it's supposed to be Mario, but these guys are so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, I think Weller made those little guys, the little hammer bros. Mm -hmm. and the hammer, the hammers I know he was very proud of and mm -hmm. still should be. They're they're great hammers. Uh and, but yeah, but this is back when oh gosh, building was so basic. We had no idea what we were doing and we were gonna yeah. try to make like a two D map where essentially everyone fights like Mario would would is if you had Mario's point of view going along the the level. Yep. And uh, do, do, I don't know why we quit it. I, <laughs> you know these purple things are all deprecated items that don't exist anymore. I don't even know uh -huh. what they would have been. But yeah, so this was I, you know a failure, but also you know led to other stuff, right? Because yeah, someone would see this and be like, now we now we've seen a lot of great Mario maps, yeah. <laughs> like really good maps. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, the the level just keeps getting brought up and up by by more and more builders, which is mm -hmm. awesome to see. Well, thank you for sharing your fails. Um, not always an easy thing to do, but still, these little uh, hammer bro guys. I mean, seriously, they're adorable. I I think they're adorable. <laughs> they should be used in something as a kind of a a joke or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, this would is... be one of those things that if you could copy your assets and use in another map, <laughs> there you go. Totally. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and do you work on your maps one at a time or do you work on multiple um, and bounce around? Uh, I bounce around a little bit. Uh, okay. It kind of depends. Like, um, like I made a... Uh, 
a mini golf map. And when I was making that, I got the idea for uh, Lilypad, which is another map I made with them. Um, love that essentially map. Just, that's a fun map. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's, that's all. I, that was, I was almost tempted to, to say that was my favorite because <laughs> that was mm-hmm. a lot of fun. Why don't uh, you bring us there the, so uh, we can check it out while we're chatting? <laughs> the so yeah so i was in the middle of mini golf i thought of the the lily pad idea and immediately to do mm-hmm. to do the... yeah i'm gonna pause you there so the first time i saw this map um I was watching it on somebody else's stream. Sandbox had just gotten released and all of these new maps were being put out there. And there were so many maps to look at. So many maps. Um, And another streamer had this one on and he was playing TDM in it. And I thought, oh my God, this is the coolest freaking map. Not only do I love frogs and there's frogs in here. And then (laughs) as I'm thinking how wonderful this is, I see this happen. And there's a whole <laughs> other level down here of underwater fishies and fun, little seaweed and like lobsters. And um, I love this map. And, um, you know, these water bubbles are awesome as well. Um, probably the Tiffin, most pricey. You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> yeah, I thank Tiffins for that one. Mm-hmm. That's uh, she, yep, she did, she did that and she did the uh, the catfish. Brian mm-hmm. Wayne Coleman did the the lobster. Like that's oh. what's cool about the builder, right? Is like so many people collaborate can, on stuff. Like yeah. they'll pop in and hey, what are you doing? Hey, can I try something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go for it. And that uh, so is just it's, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, this this is uh probably one of my more um, favorite maps that when I think of sandbox, this map comes to mind because uh, it speaks to uh, I guess my inner child that loves. Uh, lily pad kinds of things and frogs and things like that so yeah your giant yep, fly yep. or mos- is that a mosquito <laughs> <laughs> mosquito yeah oh my gosh uh, <laughs> i yeah. just noticed his nose <laughs> it's a mosquito <laughs> oh such uh, cool stuff um yeah. uh and then how long did it take you to make this one um this one went pretty quick because i mean as you can see like a lot of the like the cattails are just copy paste copy paste Uh the lily pads themselves aren't too difficult the Mm -hmm. the creatures were definitely the part that was the hardest um even down below the seaweed you know a lot of it's copy paste change it a few times just to you know make it a little random so it doesn't Mm -hmm. look you know crazy but uh god if i had to guess this one was probably like a 20 hour build maybe 15 hours it wasn't that bad it was it was pretty quick compared to i think mini golf took a little longer uh, making all the holes that was that was fun but yeah and uh Um, when you're building are you uh, a drinker a music player uh friends with you in in the map or are you solo uh I I always tell myself, hey, put on some music before you go, you know, just to give yourself some sound of some yeah. <laughs> some kind. But I put on the headset and I'm gone. I just all of a sudden I'm just, I just I I listen to nothing. I do nothing. Yeah, I, I forget <laughs> to put on music. Um, I definitely it's awesome when people pop in just to say hey or uh, to BS for a little bit um, or to pop in. You know, sometimes it's nice when you're building and someone comes in and they're like. Um, Hey, do you mind taking a peek at what I got going on real quick? Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I could use a break. <laughs> I could use a, a little break for right now to, to okay. check out some stuff. And um, so yeah, so it's I mean that's yeah the best part is the community part of it. How many maps do you currently have? Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, does it say on our list? No, it doesn't, huh? Um, I think last time I looked, it was. And it was in the 60s. I, I've not all completed maps, but of wow. ideas or incomplete maps or that Mario map that never got done, yeah. things like that. I've got, I'm getting close to the 75 save limit on maps. Um, sometimes I'll have duplicate copies of maps. I don't think I have any right now. Because, uh, like, you'll have a map and you'll be like, ah, oh, I think I want to try, you know, change it a little bit or do something different based on it. So you'll have mm-hmm. kind of a, a second map on it. So yeah, I got a lot of saves, but probably, probably 20, 25 playable ones. Not all lily pads, That's a good <laughs> you know, there's, yeah, yeah. there's uh-huh. some that are out there that are, that are older basic ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. 
Um, and then uh, what about, um, like, do you have a favorite dev map that's been made? <laughs> this is another question. I just, I was so excited to get this question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because, because, yeah, I, I could tell, like, everyone dances around it a little bit. And I mm -hmm. don't want to, <laughs> I want to dance around it too, partly, but um, because I the 10 maps they originally had like on the featured list were all like come on man like those aren't the 10 best arms reach maps. underscore like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you put some other ones said and they sprinkled some in like, lol over, you know, over, dev over time, maps so that's good um because a lot of them i don't like because <laughs> you know like i said like i like the playability stuff uh -huh. and i think a lot of them are, lo are lopsided um and get you know you can get overrun if you're on one side or the other or there's just there's some issues with some of them um I liked the look of Alien Planet, the one that had like the cool colored triangles, and it, it was a, it took you to kind of a different world, right? And that's what I was like mm -hmm. doing. It's kind of making you feel like you're somewhere, and that one does. You feel like you're like, wow, this is this place is wild, with the cool color coordination and all that stuff. And uh, it doesn't play as great. It plays okay. Um, you can get pinned down though uh, on sides, but uh, so I, that's probably my favorite, just based on the look of it. Um, and like other people have said, like, the, I mean, the main map is really, that's, that's their red butter. They made a good map. <laughs> it's really an awesome map. Up one map okay. where people would stop okay. and think about it. Okay. Well, um, let's see here. Hello, Janet over in Facebook and, uh, Arms Reach. Hello as well. Thanks for popping in, uh, Mac and, uh, doing that nice little joke. Um, what's up? What about, let's see here, um, let's do some map surfing. Um, show me a couple of, of your builds and um, show me some of your secrets, hidden places, hidden doors. Oh. And then if you're see? brave enough, oh. show me one of the cowbell hidden spots. I know where it is on the minion map. <laughs> you know in the minion oh oh uh -huh. that's a good spot in there too uh -huh. um yeah we'll go to we'll go to minions this is this is actually also in the running for my favorite maps because this is the probably the most fun to build of everything Mac yeah, cheese of this is the most fun to build said, of all the maps I've ever made, just because I got, I got to make like late. a little world, like a, mm -hmm. like what, what would a minion be doing, you know, yet. like you know, pulling up a cart of bananas, a big banana, on it, or like making these little <laughs> said, the bad minions trapped ask inside him of the where thing, the you know, inside is an inception. <laughs> um, it was just so much fun making different scenarios of like, all right, what would they be doing if they had their own little warehouse uh -huh. sort of place, you know? Uh huh. And so, yeah, we talk about letting your creative juices flow. Like, this is kind of it. It was like, oh, man. Mac, Mac um, Cheesy said, I got here late. Did he show you Trippy yet? Ask him. And uh, Armstrong <laughs> said, ask him where the cowbell is in Inception. So let me look around <laughs> this map first, one. guys. I want to check this one out. This one's super cute. <laughs> ask him uh, via. This one, I always like said, these guys, too. The little guy. Mm -hmm. Don't show the Inception cowbell. Stuck in the box cowbell. with the one. Got that is the best going. one. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's teasing him. <laughs> yeah. We can go look at the the cowbell now one too. That's a fun little okay, area, okay. I guess. Um, we'll do we'll do two cowbells. That'll be satiate everyone's thirst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cute. He's putting in a light bulb. And... You see how creative he is. <laughs> There's an author. <laughs> There's the cow. <laughs> Yep, all right guys guy. that's what i'm talking about this is what uh more cowbell puts in all of his maps so be looking for it so cute excuse me i'm sorry for interrupting <laughs> make sure you wash your hands when you're done okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game room was fun to make thinking of how because like you know yes, they, they can't play cool. you know yeah. games the way we do they gotta stand ping on the ping pong table you guys are so <laughs> cute Aww. This, this map just makes me happy. <laughs> it just makes me it happy. <laughs> it's just yeah, a lot cute. Of fun. It's, mm -hmm. uh, nice work. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, you know what? I screwed up with this map. Talk about fails. <clears throat> um, when this when I first made it, I did it with like no climbing. Mm -hmm. And 
think, I think there's no climbing and that was it. And people hate that, right? Like people hate taking away pop one mechanics. I didn't, we didn't know that back, you know, early on. Uh -huh. And so it, it lost a lot of its, uh, its juices for, mm -hmm. for that. So it doesn't get, you know, it's kind of got lost in the, the sands of time, uh, because of that, <laughs> which is sad, but oh well, you know, you live and learn. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, what else can we find? Uh, we'll go to Inception. How do you do an Inception? Do you, uh, handle it well? Uh, I handle it well. The ones that make me um, not feel well are actually space maps with like black nothingness. Um, mm. Yeah, I can handle things that are on tilt and I can handle things with high uh, buildings. But when we get into space, that's where I kind of lose my shit, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that makes sense. Super cool, you guys. Justin. Yeah, this is like, it not only looks like Inception, but it also looks a little bit like Doctor Strange as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the two that people like, always say. Uh huh. It's got that building, folding, <laughs> twisting, twisted look to it. It's very cool. Now, I don't think I've been inside here. There's an actual office on tilt. That's cool. It's a spawn point. Look at this. So, <laughs> you actually built um, these pieces. Here, I'm just going to go into builder mode. And uh, placed them and then tilted the building. Um, and I was going to comment this in the um, first room that we started Taffy the interview underscore in. dragon underscore VR. This rolling chair looks Said, like it's the only map to sit in. where I That's find myself well physically stumbling made. at times. <laughs> so very yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I upgraded the one in the uh, in the sawmill. I made it uh -huh. a little. I, I noticed it, it was kind of better more lux. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Very yeah. This is another. I mean, this is an older map. So like, I, you know, I look at it and I see like a lot of okay. stuff from like, oh god, look what I did there. Like, why did I do that? Um, <laughs> or like, I left that really plain or something like that. And I, mm -hmm. I'd love to upgrade it at some point, but we still need more textures. You know, we just mm -hmm. we're a little short on textures. Um, I'll show you the little cowbell. Fountains and gazebos. Go find the cowbell. The uh, this one, I, I like. No one finds it. It's so it's and it's a big map, so I get it. But it's in an open area. Like there's no, it's not hiding anywhere. It's just, or you know, it's it's in the back of the old pickup truck. I guess it's a tough angle now that I'm oh, trying to walk around okay. it. Okay, there it is. Just, you look, were wondering. <laughs> look at this it truck. Is. This truck is so basic. Is uh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny looking at it. But yeah, like, you know, I don't. Um, it's retro. I always we'll call it I retro. worried so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Um, like I always try, I always worry about performance issues on yeah. this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, especially earlier in the beta, um, you could really get some some maps that just did, they got screwed up really bad, and with just too much stuff, and, and the, the system couldn't handle it. So, like, I rarely. It's funny because I watch like Taffy and stuff like that, and. and some other ones, Weller or um, Ass Clown, like, like they all, you know, they push the budget all the way to the limit and they, mm -hmm. and they get it to work. And, um, I, you know, I probably should try that stuff. Ass Clown VR. I, I, still in the back of my mind, I'm said, like, no, just do Now you do need to move the cowbell. So we have to look for it again. Cool and, LOL. And let the, you know, imagination, let that take over. Because, you know, Pop 1, like, you know, you go into a crack house, like, there's nothing in there. Like, it's <laughs> it's so basic. <laughs> it, it's like, but it works, though, somehow, right? Because your brain uh -huh. just takes over and, and you feel like you're there and whatever. You don't you don't question, like, anything about it. That's true. So I've always kind of stuck with that. And so I never get close to that 100 Oops, I'm bouncing around. Uh, I never get close to that 100%, usually, sometimes. Okay. Okay. Give um, a lot of space. Any other maps that have like hidden rooms and hidden secrets? Uh, see, I'm not good with hidden stuff. Okay. Um, well, I never, uh, yeah, I never do it. I can, uh, I'll give you Trippy, right? Because that's a Mac one. And then I got one, one unseen map that. Uh, okay. No one. No, and, I had like four. Uh, there we go. All right. 
Oh, now, there we go. Uh, Ass Clown says that you have to rehide the cowbell in his inception. Augathus. Because now we all know where it is. Hey, Tipsy. Inside, wish uh, more G Food Tipsy players follower, would attempt sort of to death deal, matches you know? again. It's a special gift to the, <laughs> to the people uh, supporting the channel. This is Tippy. Okay, so it's weird because, like, you're running towards each other. It actually looks like it's, <laughs> like, getting further away as you're running, even though it's getting closer. That's cool. Yeah. This red tri these red triangles are perfectly level. They mm -hmm. they are <laughs> they are horizontal as they could be, but they just it looks like you're always going up. It's so weird. Yeah. This is kind of found on accident, you know? Like I just uh, this whole oh, map was kind wow, of kind of an accident that I just kept running with. I feel like this should be Tippy Nut or Trippy not Tippy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's Trippy. Yeah, that's the name. Trippy. Oh, yep. Trippy. Trippy. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because it doesn't yep. feel like if I was running on this, I keep having to run back and forth because it literally feels like I'm off my my tilt here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's funky. Cool. <laughs> this okay. is before Inception too. Like this is another kind of, of the map thing where I was like, it, all these things kind of built towards making Inception. See the and, uh, on the outside how it's. Oh yeah, simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Simple, cool. and then you go inside, and it's like, oh. Crap. Yeah, this one turns people's stomach more than Inception, I think, because um, it is pretty disorienting. Mm -hmm. Always being at an angle. Now, uh, do you ever get feedback from uh, folks that are playing in your maps that feel like, oh, I can't play this? Tassie underscore like, dragon you underscore VR. Into play TDM on one of said, your maps to hear what people are saying, and then they're just crap. like, oh my god, I, I didn't can't realize do this. the red triangles were perfectly yeah, horizontal. Yeah, yeah, and I, <laughs> I feel bad. Um, it's tough because I, I get it. Like it's, <laughs> um. I don't know what to do about it. Like, but I, you know, I know you've asked people about feedback and stuff. Like, said, I, sure. I dig feedback. Mm -hmm. I can't At do anything Taffy much about underscore the, dragon the underscore stuff. VR I wish I, trippy. You know, could send you some huh? crypto bismol or something. Yeah, and, right. <laughs> and help you out. But, uh, but try some ginger. That'll make it better. <laughs> there, yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> That's funny. I, but like other stuff though, like if people say like, ah oh, man, like this this jump pad sucks. Like it doesn't get me where I need to go. Or, mm -hmm. or hey, this. Uh, you know, like, hey, this is way too overpowered over here. Or, like, uh, that's sort of the stuff you want to hear. I mean, I, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all when someone says, like, oh, this sucks right here. Because, mm -hmm. like, all right, let me take a look at it. Like, I want to see. And because you can't please everyone, but you can try to please as many as you can. And um, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, I, I like hearing that sort of stuff. Well, um, let's even, talk about. I think about... even more than the good stuff. Let's talk about the folks that support you the most, your builder friends. Let's do a shout out to your builder friends. Who would you like to uh, recognize for being your biggest support, your idea creators, your, <clears throat> I guess, um, assistance in your maps and uh, the folks that keep you going? Wow, wow, wow. So, I mean, you know, we have we have our, our groups, right, that we all – um, we're all in and everyone, I mean, it's just, everyone's so great. It's kind of, it's almost like we brought the beta group over to the main uh, pop one sandbox now. And, and we kind of had that same kind of, I want to say family. It makes me sound so sad. Oh, the family, <laughs> the pop one family. Uh, <laughs> like, but it is kind of like a little family, right? Like, friend, yeah. like just close friends. And, and there's so many of us like, um, and everyone just, we all have different kind of, roles and strengths and weaknesses and um one someone did pop to mind when you said like who helps you the most mm -hmm. um i think i think arms reach actually helps me the most he's seen a lot of things where like i have something good going and he's like and he, he always jokes with me like you know when he comes to my maps like hey man what's going on here like why don't you fix this and i'm like Awesome. He's like, dude, he's like, I, dragon he's like, I feel so VR. bad coming in here and telling you, like, oh, Said, yeah, I see this. Look, I bet you missed it this. It is definitely and like, like family. Oh, dude, it's like, tell me. I got, I don't care. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Like, Taffy yeah, underscore dragon underscore VR. It, so, um, Said, he helps out a lot. Like he arms is amazing. A couple, like he's he did some stuff on sawmill. Um, like helped me, gave me some great ideas on there. Um, but I mean, there's so. I mean, God. I mean, just hanging out with all of them. I mean. Like Weller's the one that got me into the the whole thing, so mm -hmm. you know I got a got a special place in my heart for him. Aww. And uh, 
it. So, you know, because without him, I never would even, I mean, I would have been in Sandbox when it got released to everybody else. So, uh, but then it was just, I mean, everybody's kind of, I, I feel bad not naming like every single name. Um, but to anybody that's, you know, in the crew, you know who you are. And but in anybody that's building, like it's, 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 uh, it's cool seeing like new builders pop up and stuff like that and get to talk to them. And I just, I don't know, it's a cool community. Arms overall, reach so underscore mm-hmm. said. Aw, they're all saying Thanks, that. they're all being mushy you and are chat. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you uh, check gotta, out the comments. I, They're all being mushy. I gotta take off. I gotta take off my headset and wipe off the the fog. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, I told but, myself I wasn't gonna cry. Mom, my mom was gonna be so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god, she's watching right now. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> all the tears. <laughs> Here, <I have> a <laughs> tissue. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are getting towards the end of our questions. Um, are there any other maps that you want to bring us to to share? So I'll show you the one that only a couple have seen. And so obviously I submitted, you know, the sandbox, the, the sawmill one. Mm-hmm. Before that got submitted or was chosen, I'd started another one because I had no idea if it was going to get chosen or not, whatever. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start another one to give myself two chances of getting in the map. And the day before I was done with this one, they announced the whole sandbox or sawmill thing. And I'm like, Oh wow. Like, <laughs> that's amazing. Like, I can't believe they picked it. Mm-hmm. Like, what do I do with this one now? <laughs> oh God, like, I can't, uh, I don't know what, but it's, uh, it's, a, I don't know. I'd love to see this in the main map too. Cool. It's like a sneak preview. <laughs> yes. So this, yeah. Ooh, this is like uh, almost it's like temple but it's also kind of bunkerish. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Mayan temple was my kind of I guess inspiration there. Yeah. Like uh, that sort of theme to make it a big thing, and then um, I just yeah I wanted to make something more vertical than sawmill was, and this is purely for the main map. Like I you know there's a, there's a chance this map never gets seen by anybody. Yeah. Because it's not, I don't know if it'd be a great TDM. I mean, I, was, I suppose I could release it as that, but I don't think it'd be amazing. Um, it's more just for that map because it would just fit better um, in there like that. But So one of the things mentioned to me that I caught on was uh, in order for it to be entered as one of the maps considered for the main evolving map is that it has to be on a perfect square. Is that true? No, no, yeah. you can, okay. you have a limit of a perfect square. You have 150 cubes by 150 cubes, mm-hmm. and then you got 50 cubes tall. Um, whether you use it all or not, or, or make a circle of it all, or you can do whatever you want inside that. Mm-hmm. But they, they do give you the, the cube thing, I guess. Okay. And you just use any template you want. Uh, I used the space template in here because I wanted to see if this map did get chosen. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see on the center jump pad that's in the middle of the temple. Yeah. Uh, I was curious if the blue that's inside of there, because in here right now, it's a reflective uh, moon, right? Oh, inside of there. Because yeah. it always reflects whatever template you made it on. Yeah. So if you made it on a snow map, it's snow. You know, the grass map, it's grass. Mm-hmm. And I didn't I was know curious that. if this would... Yeah, well, the grass one's kind of kind of ugly if you ask me it turned the, <laughs> the pretty blue into green you know it just it turns it gets rid of the pretty reflection uh-huh um so yeah i wanted to see if this would reflect moon if they put it into the main map would it keep its reflection or would it get the the pop one reflection so gotcha. I, uh, just a little test uh-huh. i guess very cool so, <laughs> yeah. now is there a cowbell in this map i assume so <laughs> yeah there is yeah mm-hmm. and this one actually is too hard s- to find I'm not gonna search for it, but uh, I just <laughs> I just want to point out, Aiden, if you watch this interview, that I have the opportunity to find the cowbell first, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Just saying. Um, yeah, I won't tease him too hard on that. Um, but uh, just a quick shout out to Aiden for your guys's uh, builder group. Um, he's one of your biggest fans and, uh, he's one of your biggest, uh, I guess, uh, glitch finders is what I hear. 
Um, he, he really does do likes, good with that. Yeah. yeah, he likes to go in and find cracks, nooks, and crannies in anywhere that he can um, tell you that your map is broken. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm hmm. All right, I, I did a quick run through, you guys. So, if Aiden ever watches this, he can watch it on slow mo and start looking for the cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> All That's right. Funny. Well, uh, yeah. we are at the um, difficult question uh, that all of you guys seem to uh, be slightly shy about um, answering, but we're going to go for it. Who I've is known, your I, favorite builder? I've I've known this since I was about ten years old. Who okay. my favorite okay. builder is? Mm -hmm. Yep, <clears throat> Tim the Toolman Taylor, my favorite. <laughs> From, wow. <laughs> the, <laughs> he's great. He's he's, he's mm -hmm. funny. He's a fan. He's got a you know. He's a great dad. Mm -hmm. he's, he's the perfect sitcom dad. I mean, he's just mm -hmm. yeah. Tim the Toolman Taylor I like that is the best answer. builder. I Arms thought you were gonna go with something school. like Leonardo da Vinci Set. and be like, and our interview <laughs> yes. is done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, that's, <funny. laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I will give you. I'll give you an answer because. Uh, <laughs> I'll be the I'll be the first one to do. I think is, would I be the first one? Maybe someone else has done it. Uh, we've uh, had it is some hard. mixed answers where, uh, for different reasons, different builders are favorites. Yeah, it's t yeah, there, there really is. It's so true. I mean, there's mm -hmm. there's so many reasons to like different builders and what they do, and and all you know, everyone that we all know is all all good people. So, um, but I will I will say. I'm going to say, drum roll, please. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Weller. Okay. Um, because, of it, because of everything he's done for me and getting me into this. And he makes great maps. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he, he, um, he, he takes the reins on a lot of stuff too, right? Like he's, he's been kind of at the head of some of these uh, contests we've had. So he's really good for the, the community in that way. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to, I'm going to give him the nod because uh, of everything. He's, you know, he's, he reports so much stuff to like the devs on like, you know, like when he finds bugs, like, you know, like that just pop up and stuff. Like mm -hmm. he does like files and like, I don't even know how that stuff works. Like, like getting log files and things like that on why a collision doesn't work or why something doesn't work. And he, you know, he does all that stuff. So, well, um, you and know, he I'll just got sit here and build. me he to do that. these builder interviews. He Arms gave reach me the underscore. confidence to come out here and do that because I was like, I don't Wella know any is of great. the builders, and that's kind of intimidating. Like, Dirty Monkey the seventy eight. Other streamers, I've been in their streams, and I can Said, work for weeks before I gain 100%. confidence. But you guys, I'm just like, I I don't play with you, I don't know you, um, and so like he really warmed me up to it. So. Uh, along lines with your thoughts, he's he's been a great influence for me to get uh, closer to Sandbox. So, yeah, good choice. Taffy yeah. underscore dragon <laughs> underscore VR. All right. Yeah. So, well, said. Yeah. final question well, of the interview so much behind is the what scenes are some stuff. of the best experiences you've had in Sandbox or what brings you back to Sandbox every day? Um, I mean, it is... The corny thing, right? It is people is the biggest thing. It is mm -hmm. fun. I mean, it, that's just pop one in general too. Um, the game is so so much just based around people. I mean, even like just if, forget sandbox. Like when you're a new person and you're just getting wrecked <laughs> by three by a, a squad <laughs> of level sixty threes, right? Mm -hmm. And you know people complain about it on Facebook and wherever else, and they you know it sucks <laughs> and. You know, That's we true. started back, you know, the first season, two seasons, whatever, three seasons. You know, any, anybody before Kingdom mm -hmm. um, had a different Pop 1 experience in the beginning where, you know, there was no level 63. There was, there was a level 60, and that was right. that didn't even – no one had it yet. I mean, like, you <laughs> saw, like, a Millie Define, and you're like, holy crap. Like, there's a level 54 or whatever it was she is. You know, I don't know what that level is. But you're like, whoa, like that. <laughs> watch out for that skin. Mm -hmm. And so there wasn't, there was sweats, but not in the same way. And they also didn't uh, kind of team up the way they do, or we all. I mean, yeah. I feel bad on that too, right? Because everyone says, oh, they, why do all these levels 63, 64s got to be together? Well, we've played together for the last two, three years, so we're all over, you know, level 60s. <laughs> like that's happening. Like it's not that we necessarily choose to like oh i want to be with you know the best players or anything a lot of the, those people just happen to also be our friends for the last year and a half yep, yep. um so it's it's tough um 
but yeah, I mean, bring it just sandbox. I don't know. I, I just, I love building. I really, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think that's a building, great answer. <laughs> building, yeah. It just, it really, yeah. It's a, it unlocked some sort of artistic uh, thing inside of me. Like I always liked art stuff, but like, this is different. Mm-hmm. Even oh, yeah. better. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for your time today. Um, all that you've shared, helping me learn how to uh, build something that I thought was difficult with the minions, and then showing me around to all of these beautiful maps and all the hard work. Um, thank you for putting in all the hours to uh, share the content with us as well. So, um, real quick, can I say something? Yeah. I know. I know. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Hansen, my sixth grade teacher, uh -huh. is watching right now, oh. and I want to tell her. She told me a long time ago the video games are going to rot my brains. Look at me now. Yes. <laughs> Rotting away. <laughs> That's so funny. How you like me now? Uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mrs. Hansen. Uh, also, uh, you have a great evening. Um, Cowbell, thank you for your time. Everybody in Facebook and Twitch, thank you for the show up. Um, I'm going to say... Farewell to Cowbell. Arms reach underscore. Yes, thank you very much for Sad. doing this. I told you before, I Cute love your interviews. Dress. Thank you for doing them. It's great stuff. Absolutely. And uh, uh, on one final thought, Arms Reach wants you to know cute dress. <laughs> my my mother sewed this herself for me yeah. so I can you know, try to make money in the interest. saloon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to head back to the lobby and say goodbye, more cowbell. Thank you very much. All righty. Adios. See you. Uh, whatever stream world. <laughs> I know. We will see each other soon. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right, everybody. Uh, if you'll continue to join me in just a moment, I will uh, raid somebody with all of you guys uh, hanging out. Taffy in, on underscore the Twitch dragon side. underscore VR. I want to say thank you to the Facebook side. Said for the hangout and the alerts. Great I job. Thank you for being there. Arms reach um, underscore. Yeah, absolutely. Said it was fun. I love doing these. Great interview. Uh, I like learning new things too. Like even when it's not the teach me something new, I'm learning by just like some of these maps that you guys have in, like created and these shapes and things that can be things that I never knew that you could stretch and bend that way and yeah mm -hmm. so uh, let's see here I'm debating between somebody who has a lot of energy and uh, plays uh, is kind of one of our pop one sweats. Ask Clown VR. And the other person I'm looking at said, is uh, not affiliated. You'll be a master yet, builder in no we time. We could help him become affiliated, but he's a more quiet streamer, so you'd have to go in there and be noisy. So uh, any preferences there? Uh, meanwhile, while you guys are answering me that question, I'm going to let you go, guys know that uh, this is a very bu busy week for builder interviews. My next one is going to be on Wednesday. Uh, I like pies. And then this weekend is jam-packed. I have one Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday, and one on next Monday. So super busy builder week. Um, I still got quite a few builders to get scheduled in there, so please send them my way. And now we're down to the point of decision making. So, has anybody decided if they want to go to the uh, Super Sweat or the Stream Elite be a master builder in no time? I don't know about that. <laughs> the only thing I'm a master at is Zelda, okay? <laughs> Any Zelda Arms game. reach underscore. <laughs> Said. Just lost your audio. Oh no. That's not good. Did I push something? I'm really good at that. You cannot hear me? Let's see here. Can you hear me? What did I push? What did I push? Arms reach underscore. <laughs> Said. You are back. Oh, okay, good. Ask Clown VR. Said. Audio is back. Well, I'm glad it only happened at the end of the stream. 
<laughs> so I'm going to send you guys on to uh, the person that's got uh, a lot of energy. That's a super sweat. Okay. Uh, we're going to go visit. Reach underscore. Unless I hear Said. anybody say anything different in the next few Couldn't seconds. Couldn't hear your question to us. Oh, my question is, is I've got two people to raid. Should I raid the uh, super sweat that's uh, got a lot of energy? Or should I raid the other person that is not affiliated yet? We could help him become affiliated, but he's on the quieter side, so you'd have to go over to chat and be noisy. Hmm? Any thoughts there, guys? Hopefully my audio stays Arms intact. reach underscore. <laughs> Said. Quiet guy. Quiet guy. Okay, you got it. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull him up here. There he is. Okay. Your guys' job is to go over there, say hello in chat, be noisy, and get him to start chatting. Let him know that you're... Uh, helpful to his affiliation that will hopefully happen soon he's been working on it for such a long time we're going over to the riddler vr uh he is a pop one lover he plays beat saber and some other uh, vr games but uh this guy li lives breathes sleeps drinks population one so catch you guys on the flip side i'll see you guys on wednesday bye